Hey, what is up everyone? Chris, the Thrift Shop Hustler, going to do a Christmas edition of what sold on eBay. I want to thank everyone this year for the amazing support. All you guys that have been subscribing, liking, and comment, commenting, <laughs> and sharing. Yes, today I have bedhead. I just woke up. I just li literally rolled right out of bed to make this video for you guys. Because that's how dedicated I am. I got my Bill Belichick looking... Uh, yeah, yeah, that was a touchdown. Um, anyways, I'm Chris the Thrift Shop Hustler. Thank you guys, 3,000 subscribers. Subscribers. I didn't do a what sold on eBay video last week because sales were so slow that I thought it would just be ridiculous to do like literally like three items or whatever. But I'm glad I did because I saved all the goodness just for you. And if you like that, please click the like button. We're also on Steam It, by the way. I definitely highly suggest everyone go on to steamit.com. It's a new social media platform. I've talked about it before, and I will talk about it always, steamit.com. I am at reseller. Let's get right into this. I'm excited. We had some pretty good sales. So, woo, you like that. It was like a magical, the magic of the internet. Uh, first up, we have the Suck Adalic Suck Pack Suck Lord. <laughs> If anyone doesn't know who this guy is, don't Google it. Yeah, he's a he's a pretty crazy artist in the toy designer toy world scene. Anyways, uh, I collected some of his work back in the day, and I had it put away. This is death pile stuff. Uh, luckily, I thought like I'm just gonna bust out some of this stuff. There's some pretty hardcore uh, suck lord. That's it. <laughs> That's his name. I, I, uh, if you want to go down a rabbit hole, like literally a rabbit hole. Google Suck Lord or look look his stuff up on eBay. He is uh, a very interesting character, really cool guy, and uh, I collected some of his artwork back in the day before he blew up all crazy style. And now he's kind of like uh, he's really popular for a while. Was going was on TV shows and stuff like that, and he's still doing his thing, but not as uh, not as hot as uh, he used to be. But still a good guy. Does some pretty crazy art. He pretty much is the one responsible for everyone doing bootleg figures in the industry, uh, like bootleg art figures. He's the literally the godfather, the guy that cr like literally everyone does this now because of him. Um, definitely, he's inspired me to do some cool stuff. So, with that, uh, huge shout out to Suck Lord. Anyways, uh, I just decided I'm just gonna start getting rid of some of my Suck Lord stuff. It's uh, not serving me well, you know. And there's lots of collectors that definitely would want this. Anyways, what this is, you might be <laughs> you might be asking yourself, what the hell is this? It is a six foot cutout of the Suck Lord, and it's uh, it's thin paper. It's glow in the dark. It rolls up. It's not cardboard or anything. I had this for years. I had it. I had him signed by him and the guy that made this uh, Lars from Sidekick Labs. Uh, this was signed at a convention that I was uh, I had a booth at. And anyways, I've had this for years. It was a mail away thing, so. Sucklord made these these cards, these collectible cards, and you had to save up all these packs to uh, mail away for this thing. So, anyways, from what I heard, there's like really not that many of these made, and so uh, it's rare. Like I like I said, I've never seen anyone else with it. So I talked to Lars one time, and he was just like, there there was like really not, none of these made. So I think I was the only one with it. Could be one of a kind. I think there's maybe like a handful of them in existence, like literally less than four or five. So anyways, I thought I'd sell it. I put it at some crazy price. I did a high-low theory. For those that don't know, I do a high-low theory. And my high-low theory is if you have something that you don't know what the price is, jack the price up super high. And just kind of feel where it lands. Uh, this has been very popular technique for me. I've done over the years. I highly suggest everyone doing it. When I had those statues uh, earlier this year that sold for... I got, I got 5000 I should do a video on that. If you want me to do the video about the $5,000 statues, leave a comment below. If I get 10 or more comments, I'll do it. Because I don't think... I don't know. It was very, really... Anyways, damn, I'm freaking sidetracking already on the first thing. Anyways, high-low theory. Price it high. I had a best offer for uh, 150 at first. I didn't want that. You know, this is rare. Uh, the guy came back the next day, 24 hours later, with a $225 offer. I took it. Bada bing, bada boom. This shipped in a tube, uh, first class. And so there's that. Yes, definitely look up Suck Lord and, and sort by like highest stuff. You'd be surprised some of the, the his action figures and stuff. Really. 
dude, strange art, definitely very niche. Like this is like as niche as you're going to get in the toy collecting business. Like th I've been lucky enough to know so many people over the years and, and just connect with so many different people that, you know, it's part of my reselling kind of knowledge that I know about stuff like this. And just from life experience, just got me to know this guy and uh, Morgan's really cool, AKA the suck Lord. Anyways, I got some more suck Lord things coming up right now. Also stay tuned to the end of this video because I'm going to have a bonus item and it has a very interesting story. It's going to be the very last item. So definitely like uh, check that out. So definitely stay tuned for that. Let's get up to, uh, I got some, I sold some more Suck Lord stuff. We're going to go over that right now. Uh, next up, we have this Suck Lord signed book. Uh, Suck Lord did a book in, uh, I want to say it was like 2009 or 2010. And uh, I took a best offer for eighty dollars for this. I haven't got paid for this yet. I just, but I thought I'd put it because it, you know, I sold some Sucklord items, and I thought I'd put it uh, eighty dollars for this book. It was signed by him, and I think what really got. I saw like another book was sold like this for less than 80. So I put this at 150 just to see what happens because it comes with a, a very rare postcard and even a, even a rarer kind of window sticker, as you can see here. Let me see if I can see you guys show you the sticker. Hopefully it doesn't have anything, uh, <laughs> anything offensive. So I apologize in advance if it does. So yeah, it's a, it's a sticker and these are rare. I've never seen any of these before. So I think that's why it went for so much, but anyways, I've got paid for that. Still waiting. Uh, next up, we have the Sucklord figure. It was a Patreon exclusive. Patre uh, Sucklord has a does, blah, 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 blah. Sucklord does have a Patreon account, so if you want to go check that out, just uh, search Sucklord in Patreon. Um, I was supporting him for ever since he started. I was one of his first supporters, and then I was a whole. I have a whole Patreon for my art stuff and everything like that. But, anyways, he sent this to me last year, or no, it was 2016 at the end of the year as a thank you gift. It's one of those things like I could keep it, you know, but I'm, I'm not a collector and I just, the thing is I see like this as just to me, like, and here's the thing, like I keep certain things, but for this, I just saw like money just sitting in a box, right? Just money, just sitting, doing nothing. I don't have nowhere to display it. You know, I'm not really a collector at all of things. And so I just decided just to sell this. Anyways, I took a best offer for $99. The, the same guy that bought the... The poster bought this, so it must have been a, a, a fan, definitely. He a he actually asked me, the guy that bought the poster, if I had any more Suckler stuff. And I do have some other stuff in uh, put away, but they're mostly like cards and things like that from those sets that he did. Anyways, I took a best offer for uh, $99 for this. And it's funny because I think I didn't even I didn't even support Sucklord for that much on his Patreon, but he sent me this, and I thought that was very nice of him. So thank you, Sucklord, for the early... Uh, Christmas present, I guess. I was able to fill my gas tank and do all that. Have a nice dinner from uh, from this sale. So, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Anyways, uh, next up we have this Franklin Mint heirloom doll, Coca Cola with a doghouse thing. Uh, this doll was probably about 16 inches tall. Came with this Coca Cola doghouse. I'm not exactly even sure that the doghouse and this came with this this was part of the collection uh took a best offer for 17.99 and uh i probably could have got more for this uh 30 dollars shipping and there's not too many comps on this so i should probably have listed it higher but anyways as part of a coca-cola uh, collection I, I literally got this for for super cheap so i was just happy just to pass along to some collector that would want it so anyways i made some money on this but not too much just shuffling through old kind of inventory, but you know, uh, next up we have this mass effect. I want to show you guys this because, um, in 2018, I'm definitely going to be more scrutin, scrutin. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to be more scrutin in 2018, everybody, just to let you know, uh, I'm going to be scrutinizing a lot of my purchases in 2018. I'm going to shift more into the merch, my Amazon in the print on demand stuff. I still be doing eBay stuff. You are still going to get videos guys, but I'm going to be extremely, extremely picky about what I buy now. Um, in 2018, just because of stuff like this, I paid, I think I paid like $5 for this just sight unseen, no scanning. And that's kind of my fault. And everything so 
Uh, anyways, this sold for, uh, took a best offer. No, this is actually on a sale, 40% off sale, $8 plus $5.99 shipping. Uh, this was kind of heavy. It had like five discs to it. But anyways, video games sell pretty well. Just, you know, my whole tip is like if you can get video games for a dollar or less, they're a pretty good buy sight unseen. Uh, a lot of PlayStation 2 games are kind of junk. A lot of Xbox, original Xbox games are junk. But for the most part, you can lot them up. And here's a pro tip for you guys. What I do throughout the year is I will just, if I go to a garage sale or whatever and people are selling these kind of games that are that aren't really going to, you aren't going to get $10 or more on eBay. I just put them out to the side and then every year I, I will, I will get them all out and make bundles and then sell bundles. So we're going to be doing bundles in January. Um, as a matter of fact, I'm clearing out literally everything that I have as far as media in January because I'm taking a little bit of vacation going to go through all my DVDs. I got like thousands of DVDs and I'm going to sell them all just to just get rid of them. 2018 is going to be a different year for uh, reselling for me. So I'm definitely going to be doing that. And so uh, stay tuned for those videos. I might do a whole series on just that whole DVD and media sale or whatever. So if you want to see that, actually click the like button and that'll let me know that you guys want to see some of those videos. Um, you know, any of my videos, if you click the like button, it actually shows me what you guys like and what you guys don't like. So I can kind of um, position my videos about what you guys want because I don't know what you guys want. And I do this video. I do this stuff for you guys. I don't get paid like that much in AdSense. It's nice. It's a little bit of money, but it isn't a crazy amount of money. So um, these videos are done with passion and love for the community. So anyways, I rambled on enough about that shit. Next up, we have Tonka Trucks. This is from the 80s. I want to guess this is probably anywhere between 1979 and 1984. Um, I want to guess it's maybe something in like early 80s, 81, 82. Anyways, it's a little guy. And there's a whole crazy story about how I actually got these. And maybe I'll do a video one day about it. Man, I can do videos like all day about these different pickups. Um, anyways, I've talked about this before. There was a huge box of Tonka trucks that were all brand new in the box from their vintage ones. There were the little ones, not the big ones. And uh, I saw like a Hot Wheel Red Lines in this auction in the bottom. And so I had to I had to buy it. And so uh, because I saw the Red Lines and actually sold the Red Lines for like one was sold for $400 and the other one sold for like 300 and something. And maybe I'll do a video about that. But anyways, I bought this whole collection just for the hot wheels but then i ended up putting these tonkas to the side and not listening to them till uh like months ago anyways this is the very last one from all that all those tonkas and everything uh took a uh actually sold for i think i took a best offer for maybe 11.99 plus shipping anyways the, the guy got this for a pretty good a price especially for a dozer that is pretty much uh mint condition in the box uh these can go anywhere from between like 20 and 30 dollars but you know for me, I've been sitting on this for a while for twenty ninety nine, and just wanted to get rid of it. I'm, like I said, I'm I'm in such another. I'm in I'm, two thousand eighteen. I'm totally transitioning my whole business into other things right now. Definitely going to be doing you know reselling still and everything, but I'm just saying I just want to clear this stuff out, and that's what I did with this one. Uh, next up, we have Peel Magazine. Sold my last Peel Magazine number five. What this is is a graffiti street art magazine. Made by Dave and Holly Combs, amazing people in the street art community. They had a magazine that basically was about sticker art. And for those that don't know, you guys pre pretty much know what graffiti is. And for those that don't know, street art, uh, graffiti kind of falls under that umbrella. But street art is mostly like posters. And also a sub, I guess a sub uh, Reddit, a subreddit. The subreddit of street art is sticker art, and so people would make stickers and stuff like that, and they'd put them on the signs. If you guys have any, if you guys are any in any urban environment, <clears throat> you've seen crazy stickers all over the place. So that's what this is. The magazine Peel magazine was dedicated to sticker art, and uh, I knew Dave and Holly Combs very well, and was a moderator on one of their uh, on their message board and all that when message boards were a thing. Oh my God, man! I'm just bringing back some memories. Anyways, I bought that. I liquid. They liquidated their whole collection when they went out of business, unfortunately. And I purchased most of their books for like a dollar, like pennies on the dollar. Anyways, this is the last one. I still have a, my own personal collection of these. Um, I was in some of these magazines. Um, as uh, what was I under? I think I was under the Evilos name. 
Anyways, sold my last one. Kind of sad. And what's really cool about these magazines, and I'll just get into this real quick. The, the artist actually would submit stickers to this magazine. So not only did you get a cool magazine with stickers and interviews and stuff like that, um, you got stickers that were exclusive to the magazine. So every month you would get... Um, and some of these stickers, some of these artists... Here's the thing. Some of these artists went on to be very famous artists uh, over the years. So some of these stickers um, could... You could literally... Like I could have probably, to be honest, like opened these magazines and sold the stickers, the individual things for like ten dollars or more. But you know what? It just it just takes some time. And uh, the "You Are Beautiful" campaign. This is like one of the very first stickers that came out for "You Are Beautiful," and that's a whole amazing campaign. If you ever know, you pro you guys probably have no idea what I'm talking about. Anyways, let me just go on something else. <laughs> oh man, the 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 life experience that I've led that has brought me into the reselling business, as far as knowing like all this stuff, is just oh maybe one day I'll write a book about all my crazy experiences with uh, stuff. I've been involved in a lot of stuff. Let me just say. Uh, next up, uh, I'll speaking of stickers and speaking of stuff, uh, I made my own sticker pack in 2006 with uh, collaborated with I think it was like 15 other artists, and I made a sticker pack and it was a tribute to the Shepherd Fairy Obey thing. Uh, they were limited to 250, and I still have some of those left and thought, well, why don't I put them on eBay? Uh, there's some really cool stickers in here. And uh, there is that. So uh, these uh, that took a this was on sale for seven seventy nine, which is a good deal. These are old. There's some really well known artists in this set, and uh, hopefully someone will, that bought this will open it up and put the stickers out on the street somewhere. So there's that. Uh, next up, we're gonna get into the little bit of the DVD stuff that I sold. Um, I don't really talk about the DVD stuff too much because a lot of the a lot of the stuff is bread and butter. Uh, meaning like, you know, $10 free shipping, like, you know, in that kind of area. So I don't show those too much on here because it would literally bore you to death. I'd have a whole video about just making $10 DVD sales and that would just be boring as hell. But anyways, this was uh, an interesting one. This was a very thin uh, uh, DVD case. It's called a 7 millimeter. Traditionally, DVD cases are 14 millimeter, which means the thickness. Uh, this one was, came in a thin one. And anyways, this sold for uh, $11.99. Still going through the DVDs. 1,200 DVDs of that one collection I bought earlier this year. I, I think it might have even been last year. I don't remember. Every <laughs> the days are becoming a giant blur. <laughs> anyways, uh, I'm literally pennies into all these things. So it's very nice to be able to sell it. Like you say, like, oh, wow, okay, big deal. You sold this for $11.99 plus $2.99 shipping. Big deal when I only paid like literally three cents maybe or five cents for this stuff. Next up, we have a actually a really good sale. This one I took a best offer. I want to say I took a best offer for thirty four ninety nine for this one. And you're like, wow, dude, that's incredible. Exactly, that is incredible. Uh, especially when I paid like five or three cents for this thing. I'm still going through the DVDs because when I first got this this the collection of twelve hundred DVDs, and there's a whole. I should actually do a video. <laughs> I should actually do a whole video on just that whole thing. And if you want to see a video on that, please click the like button. Uh, and maybe I will consider, uh, cause I'm going to be doing more videos, 2018 for sure. More like, uh, story videos like, Oh, this is how this happened or whatever. Anyways, this is part of the collection still going through them. This was a double feature. So these were hard to scan. Oh, that's what I was saying. When I got the DVD collection, I first, I, I took all of the, all of the slip covers and I, I scanned everything. So anything that was like. Ten dollars or more that was selling well. I pulled those, and those were those have been listed and sold most of those. And everything that was ten dollars and under, I didn't list on eBay. And there is literally like still hundreds of those. So I'm still going through those because over the course of time, some of those have actually become valuable. Like this one, uh, people were listing this one for like a hundred dollars, and I was like, damn, this is like crazy. And I think it was because the Jaja Gabor picture, "Mommy Dead," is a is an out of print DVD. If you can find that. The one that's like just th that by itself, it goes for like 30 or $40 just by itself uh, or more. So anyways, this is a double feature. This is even rarer than that. Took a best offer for 30 something dollars and it was very nice sale. Uh, next up, uh, speaking of DVDs, this is going to be the last DVD on this video. Um, I want to say I paid like a dollar for this. It's brand new. Definitely scan your DVDs if you're out in the field. 
uh, here's the thing. Like I always talk about DVDs. DVDs aren't really great sellers. I'm going to be very honest with you guys. So just make sure that you're doing your research. I literally still have, like, like I said, like hundreds, if not thousands of DVDs in my storage unit that I need to sell that I purchased because they were cheap. And I thought like, you know, eventually I would turn them around. So there's a lot of that. So, um, just be prepared that these are going to be, what do you call, what do you call them? Long tail items. That's the word I'm looking for. DVDs are for the most part going to be long tail items. Some of them will sell really fast, but I'm, I'm telling you as someone that's been in DVD selling for years, it's not a great niche to get into. Like, don't go head first into like, Oh, I'm going to be like the top DVD seller. It's not going to happen. Uh, part of me, like, here's the thing. Like I have so many DVDs and I'm, I'm gated on Amazon. I wish I was ungated on Amazon uh, because I would be making a killing on the DVDs if I was able to put them on that platform because I literally have mint condition, legit DVDs. And so ugh, I wish I was ungated in, in Amazon. Anyways, paid a dollar for this, eleven ninety nine, forty percent 40% off. These were selling for like $20. And uh, Sid and Marty Croft, uh, anyone that doesn't know, this is like the, the Sesame Street from the 70s. So any older folks out there like me, this was a kind of like uh, before my time. Uh, I was a kid of the 80s, so Sesame Street was my gig on Saturdays and stuff like that. Transformers, He-Man, and thing like that. Anyways, there's that. Uh, next up, we have this, I think it's Stob, Stoob, Stob, Cast Iron 5.75 inches by 4.5 inches. It's a really cute little pan. It's a roasting dish. I got five of these. I had five of these. I still have one left. So I had five of these. These brand new sell for like $60 at, on home, at Bed Bath & Beyond, which I thought was crazy. These are cute. You can actually like make little like uh, like little little mini casserole dishes with these. If you go to Cheesecake Factory and you order their mushrooms, their stuff, oh, those are so good. If you like Cheesecake Factory stuffed mushrooms, please leave a comment below. Click the like button for that. I love it. Anyways, this is what they come in, these little like things. I didn't realize that these were actually high-end kind of cookware and Staub cast iron. So I will be looking out for that. And that's kind of like a bolo if you see Staub cast iron anywhere. Definitely pick it up if it's cheap. I got five of these for like eight bucks. I was incredibly stoked because we were just going to use them for like our, our cookware. And then when I got home and I was like, well, how much are these on eBay? And I was like, holy moly, man, the brand new, these things are like 60 bucks. So anyways, I uh, sold most of these. I have one left and actually I might keep it. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe not. I should have freaking kept like the, <laughs> I should have kept them all to begin with. But anyways, they've been selling every once in a while, like maybe once a month they would sell one. So anyways, look out for stop cast iron stuff. Uh, next up, we have a pack of three pack of DVDs. DVDs. So yeah, okay. Yeah, this looks like a DVD, dude. Uh, three pack of VHSs. I've told this story before. For those that have watched the channel, um, I picked up a huge box of media for ten bucks on OfferUp, and this is before OfferUp was like really super. Now, now finding like a ten dollar thing like this is pretty much impossible. Like literally cases of brand new VHSs and. Uh, DVD rewrites and like disc cleaning things and like so many cool things that were packaged and the guy wanted just 10 bucks for it. I had to drive in like the shady part of the neighborhood. And if I can remember, I'll leave a link up here to that video so you guys can see. It was one of the, I think that day that was the first day I ever went to the Los Angeles bins, the Goodwill bins. So that's actually an interesting video. Go check that out. Anyways, um, like literally pennies on the dollar on these. So these are pretty much all profit. I ship these media mail because they're VHS and been doing that for years. So definitely look out for VHS blank VHS. There's, there's a lot to learn with VHSs, especially blank ones. So do your research on that. I don't want to bore you guys with the technicalities of uh, VHSs, but people still use these in the movie industry. And I work at uh, I work in post-production and believe it or not, people still, uh, ask for VHS copies of things. So um, a lot of people that are older love to buy these and, you know, transfer their home movies and stuff to that. So that's what I'm guessing my, um, my customer is for these because I've been selling these and I actually have these on Amazon too. So not only do I sell these on Amazon, these are actually sold on eBay too. So cross that off. 
dot the I. Bada bing, <laughs> bada boom. Oh my god, I'm getting delirious here. And as promised, the last item, the bonus item here. This Coca Cola fan from 1909 or something around, somewhere around that area. I purchased that Coca Cola collection, and you guys should go back and look at those videos. It's pretty interesting. Uh, whole story thing from earlier this month. Anyways, I pulled this out of the trash can at the thrift shop in the back. They were, like, going through all the Coca-Cola stuff, and they were, like, throwing away so much stuff, man. You guys would just have a heart attack. Anyways, I pulled this out of the trash can. God knows what other stuff was uh, thrown out that day. But anyways, I pulled this out of the trash can, and it was the highest selling thing <laughs> that I got from that lot. And uh, sold for $56, so... Um, I res rescued this out of a trash can, folks. Uh, did, I think I paid like a dollar. So I'll give you a dollar for it. You know, I probably could have got it for free, but uh, the the thrift shop I go to is uh, they do it's charitable stuff. So you know. Anyways, I'm Chris, the thrift shop hustler. I think I've bored you long enough. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. Leave a comment below about anything that you thought that was interesting if you have any questions leave a comment below i love uh reading your guys's comments and responding to them as fast as i can if you're not subscribed to this channel please click the subscribe button click the bell if you want to become part of the notification squad we have just crossed over 3100 subs and i wanted to do a 3000 video and i never got to it so i promise a year in review video for you yes for you just yes you you sitting over there on your thing you're probably watching this on your phone to be honest with you but anyways i am uh, chris the thrift shop hustler i really appreciate you guys is support with the channel you guys have stuck through this through the ups and downs this year so i really appreciate it and i really really want to thank you wish you a uh, merry christmas happy holiday happy kwanzaa Happy Hanukkah, happy Festivus, whatever you celebrate. Thank you, and have a fun, safe holiday season. Happy New Year. I'll be making some videos before New Year's, but anyways, I wish you a happy New Year if you don't see me before then or after then or whatever the hell's going on. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. See you soon.